have not been down here for about a week. Look at the difference. Someone has been very busy. With the help of Harry for two days. Yes, we had our friend Harry come down. We didn't do any filming because they were very busy. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, clearly, I mean, really busy. We've got seats in now. Well, almost. Almost, seat frames in. Giant cupboard. Wardrobe and electrical cabinet. And a bed. I'm just doing the wardrobe area now, doing the shelves and I've got a writer, I've got no instructions on how to use it, so I'm just having a little play with it at the moment, just to see if I can um, use it to be able to write her out one big sheet on the back there. Do I trust myself? No. Have we got loads of play? Yes. Good, good. It's not actually a lot for me to do today. Um, measure up some stuff. Got the afternoon off work, so I might just chill out. Yeah, you can help me, pass me tools. So exciting! Battery's there. That's where they're going. They're going in the seats. Oh, this side. That side. Um, yeah, I don't actually know what we're going to put in this giant cupboard yet. But then That's we've got... We have got the kitchen going in over here, but we left. We kept the seats small so we can have a more generous walkway. It's really coming together. So, let's have a boogie and crack on. <laughs> Left hand shelves done, right hand shelves next. Tell me why. That is the shelves are in. Now we're figuring out the front facing to tidy them all up a little bit. Um, Craig's asking me to tell him why you must laugh or you'll cry. And that's because even though this is a square box, nothing is straight. It's not fucking square. Whoa. I like square. I'm an actor square, it's an adult channel. Is it? Yeah. So nothing square, nothing <laughs> straight. So yeah, at least we're not building out a van. Good morning, it is Saturday. So shelves are done, they are in, and today we are gonna be cutting the front face for it, which is down there. So. We've marked all that. Now we'll cut out here. Cut out here, and cut out here. How we cut it out, I don't know. We'll figure that stuff out. So I'm gonna go and have a, have a play with some scrap cuts and see if we can figure out how best to cut it. Uh, I've got a writer, but I'm not too, not too, uh, what's the word, uh, au fait with it. Confident. Confident with it, yeah. I don't wanna mess it up. Um, so yeah, so I'm not too sure. So just have a little play with a few different ideas and then go from there. Just and my job is sand down all of these rough bits and start getting some primer on. Let's go. One coat of paint done, very rough. Painting never looks good till it's done though. Let's see what he's up to. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Ah. That looks really good. <sighs> Just got to sand all off now. How Didn't did you do it in the end? Old fashioned way. Jigsaw and a good left eye. What's wrong with the right eye? What? What's wrong with the right eye? Well, it's a bit wonky, isn't it? <laughs> so sand it all down here. Make sure it's all nice and smooth and level. Righty then, issues of having your truck in a barn where pigeons roost up here. Now, you see here, I've already cleared some pigeon poo off. And then I do it, and then the bugger just shits on there as well. Oh. Second coat of paint on the shelves only. This bit needs rollering. 
Um, and then we're waiting for it to dry a little bit before this goes on. I'm rather impressed with this. He's very proud of himself. Um, I'm very um, proud of him too. Well, I mean, be proud when we see if it fits. Do you ask the size hole you want? I mean, yeah, you. We're in. All right, now, because he feels a little bit more confident doing this, you're going to get to see him actually do the cutting part of this. Hang on. All right, anyway, crack on before we get done for a uh, copyright infringement. More white paint on the shelves. That's coat number three, I think. Um, how about you? That? How's it going? Uh, good. Just sanding the second one. Put these down. Just bring these bits to nice and done. Looks smart. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Just sanding this bit down. And then I'll do the edges. And then I can paint the back of it. Pop it on. Paint it. Get it on. Look at that. It fits. Beautiful. Well done, babe. Yes. Magic. Cool. Right, whip it out. More white paint. Yay. Actually, I forgot to show you. Apart from the husband lying on the bed. Dead. We've got the uh, lids in for the cubby holes. Um, Craig's just got to route them out a bit so that they fit flush. This one kind of does, but the rest don't. And yeah, then they can be painted too. You okay? I'm done in. We've got like an hour left. Mm. Then you got to go for a run. I know. I stupidly signed up to a 100k overnight run. What a plonker. All right. <sighs> Craig's uh, found a way to use the router, router, router. and uh, is very much enjoying it. Look at that. Pretty. Let's see if it fits. Go. Oh, lush. A bit high at the back on that one, but I think uh, I can give a toss. You're swearing a lot in this episode. Sorry. Take that back. Right, that's a wrap for today. These are all routed and fit in beautifully. So we can paint and roller everything tomorrow. The fronts are ready to go in. Sorry about that. Bless you. Bit of a sneezer, a bit of a uh, old uh, sawdust up there. Sawdust up there. Because that router makes one hell of a mess. Hey. So, Get yourself a router. Those things are awesome. They're really good. <laughs> so yeah, loads of mess to clear up. There's the back painted of the um, shelf fronts. Pop them in, ready for putting them up tomorrow. Now we just pop everything away. Just before we sign off for the day, we put the slats in and they fit nice and snug. It's nice to see how it might look as a bed. Well done, Yale. You've done loads. Are you happy? Yeah, I think so. I'll be happy when it's finished. 
Got a ways to go here. Good night, Penelope. See you tomorrow. Another day done. It is Sunday morning and we are taking a stroll. Usual stroll, about 10, 15k, just to go and get a coffee. Into Lim. But, it's a trans Trail. But you've got to take time off, even when you've got a time frame. Otherwise, you'll just work yourself into the ground. Very true, very true. So we're literally going to run now to Liam, get a coffee, run, run. back, and then um, get on with the truck, get on with the work. Now? Yeah, that's the plan. Right, let's go. I, I mean, I'm not running. Oh, See you later. Cheers. Cheers, my lovely. We're back at the truck. I just kind of got going. Forgot to do a bit of a we're back at the truck. So here you go. Better late than never. Already got the final coat on the back shelves. Thank God. Now we're putting some little magnets on the side boxes. Once that's done. I can't get that up, it's so strong. Ready? Nothing like a bit of drama. So yeah, a couple of magnets on there to um, keep them down. And then we have got some awesome wallpaper to go on the back here. Oh yeah, tell them about the wallpaper. Bit of a bargain. I'll show you more in a minute. I'm just gonna measure it up, cut it out, chuck it in the back. And then the fronts can go on. Put it down here, ready and beautiful. This is our new wallpaper, and this is the third attempt at doing this because Craig has been particularly annoying today. <sighs> so this is our lovely new wallpaper. It was a whopping $8.99 a roll. We only need one roll. But the alternative versions, which were identical, were coming in at like £75 a roll, which just, it's crazy. So we're going to have a go at cutting this out now. All right, then wallpaper all cut and put in. Ta-da! That is banging. We are so happy. However, we did use spray glue. Mm -hmm. Forgot how horrific that stuff is. Uh, so just so, just to explain. So at these tops here, there's going to be pieces of ply covering these tops. And you can see that bit of roll of paper there and that roll of paper there. That'll be papered across the top there. So it'll match all the way up, all uniform. Um, so yeah, and then smart. the covers go on and just tidy the whole thing up. We are so happy and it's so nice to see a splash of colour yeah. as well. And all the pockets are made, the lids for the pockets, they're oh, all yeah. done. Uh, just dry at the moment, being painted. Oh, all to focus. Uh, and um, yeah, all the magnets are in place to hold them down. So Craig's job over the next couple of days, because that's me done, um, right, back at work tomorrow. Paint knees. Get them up, finish the back off, um, and then make the door for the little bit of wardrobe there. Basically, that wardrobe is just going to house two winter coats, two down jackets, um, to allow them to breathe in air. Uh, and then it's a case of starting to wire up for the electrics, I think. Get all the electric wires in. Oh, yeah, a bit more about that. Another time, I think. Yeah, shortly. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, so time to pack up, time to do one. Uh, I need an ice cold drink. Let's go. Good morning. It's going to be another slow day today. Lots of painting to do. Uh, I need to do inside of these boxes. Do all the lids. Um, and the panels to there to go up here they've got to be painted and then i need to wire in for the lights which are going at the back put the switch in down here and run all the cable on across here um, also some power outlets going in there so i need to run the cable in for that that's today so painting and electrics today looks like we're going back to being cute tonight 
That's the colour we wanted. That's the colour we've got. I think you'll agree that's not even close. Sorry, Carol. We're coming back. Okay, time for an update. So, where are we up to now? Oh, so, as Kerry just mentioned earlier, the paint doesn't match up, so we've got to take it back. Uh, that's a ball ache. Um, what a nightmare. Um, good job I didn't put it on. Um, so, uh, wallpaper, the back panels, it's all insulated behind. Uh, front panels have uh, been given some uh, undercoat and primer uh, and they're screwed in and I've filled all the holes in. Uh, also put the wires in for the lights, which is going to go out there, they're in. Uh, also, the switch for the, um, the two lights in the bedroom, which are those two there, uh, that's in as well. Uh, Oh, what a day. Um, yeah, Kerry uh, decided to let me wallpaper these uh, back pieces. Oh, it did not go well. Anyway, it's done, it's in. Um, yeah, awesome. Back at B&Q to return the paint. Good day all. So we're back at the farm. Uh, afternoon for me. Uh, went out for a run this morning. Uh, just painted these, uh, so we got the new color which was wrong. Uh, we've gone for a, a lighter green. So I'll just give those a lick of paint before they're dry in. I'm now going to tackle this bit at the back here um, where the wardrobe rail will go um, just here and also cut out the door. So that's my job today. update what we've been up to um, so I've just measured for the door kites for the top are done um, also set up the router table had a little play with that doors are painted those are the two back pieces and I just routed these out and these are going to be for for the door hinges to be mounted on um, so yeah I'm loving the router though, good bit of kit. And next job is to cut that out to make the door. Look how pretty. This nice new green colour. Looks really nice, looks really smart. I'm glad we went a bit lighter actually. So cheers Carol. You're screwing up the paint originally. I like the colour better. Just been filling in some of the cracks and gaps in the wood and I was just saying this paint, this wood filler smells so strong, a bit like the place I grew up and there was a giant paint factory and it just smelled of fumes every now and again. It's not there anymore, no people home. But yeah, it's looking good, isn't it? Right? So we're going to end this episode here. Um, it's been an epic week, two, two weeks. weeks. Um, and I think you'll agree we've accomplished a lot. Mm -hmm. um, as I say, thanks to Harry for his help as well, because he popped down and gave yeah. us a hand. Uh, I think we said in another 
um, clip that we didn't film it because we just wanted to get on with it. Um, at the back, um, I've just I've cut the the door for the uh, for the hanging area. Yeah. Um, I've routed it. So it's all nice and round. Looks lovely. Just need to paint it and mount it so that'll go up um, next week. Um, so I will say I am learning a lot. A lot. Every day is a school day and um, stressful. Don't get me wrong, but I'm learning. Uh, so I think that looks pretty epic back there, um, and it gives it some uh, some depth and contrast. Yeah. But yeah, it's all good. Um, so on the last episode, we forgot to um, recommend YouTube channel to yes, we did. go and watch. Um, so this episode, we're going to recommend two, and they kind of like follow suit really. So. First one? Just Escape. Yeah, Matt, Gary and Tina. They went on some epic travel adventures and it is where we first set our sights on Matilda the truck, who was the inspiration for Penelope the truck yes. and many other dads. Yeah. The videos are epic. They went to Mongolia. I mean, you know, the places they went were just, mm -hmm. they got into a lot of trouble out there as well with um, equipment failures and stuff like that watch it is very inspirational and make you want to go and buy one and get out there um and the second one is follows on from that is matthew payne adventurer and he has his own channel as well and he does his own travel vlogs as well as other stuff um check him out definitely worth watching yeah 100%. and if you're coming to the adventure overland show they're going to be there as well yeah they will and the new owner of puddles will be there as well i believe mm, um, yeah um, and I think that is going to be it. Yes, I it think is. we should sign off, pack up, and go home because it is super late. It is. It is. Need a cup of tea. Oh, yeah, I can give a cup of tea. Uh, enjoy the Bristolian lesson. And I think that is a wrap. My name's Craig. I'm the king. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. Ark at E. So, Ark is listen, at is to, and E is him. So to put it into some context, Ark at E giving it the big un, which means listen to him giving it the big I am.